Well, good morning, Magandang Umaga, and welcome to today's episode, My PI Dream, the truck, the boom. We're gonna do the big pour today. Well, let's go ahead and get today started. Without further delay, let's get today's video underway. Alright, moving all the vehicles out of the way here so that the boom can get set up. The boom is actually going to be dropping the concrete for the slab on the top. We're going to get the drone out in just a few minutes and what we're going to do, we're going to go ahead and look on the top at all the steel that's in place. As it, This is a major part of the build here and that's what we're trying to cover, every one of the major things here as they're doing the build. You can see all the formwork has been done previously in preparation for this. This camera is kind of messing up, so what I have to do is make sure that we can capture as much as we can right now before the camera stops working. Now you can see the boom is all set up out here, and what we're gonna do, we're gonna do a brief walk around the house just to kind of look at some of the, the, the things that are different today than were about a week ago when we came by and last visited. Let's walk briefly inside the garage here in uh, the vehicle parking area. And you can see really high ceilings inside here, even though not a really big width inside here, uh, very high ceilings, which should give it a bit of a feeling of a little bit more space and not feel quite so confining. So enough room inside here for the vehicle and maybe a workbench on that side for Gerard, who is the man of the house and he's the DIY guy over here as well. Uh, let's go ahead and walk around the outside. Now you can definitely see there's a lot more formwork up here and that's going to be the formwork for the beam as well as what's connected into the slab that's going to be for the roof. Now this isn't a traditional like a roof like, like a gable type of roof we have here. This is going to be all flat roof and the flat roof is going to also be able to provide some screening because the walls are a little bit higher on the top. It'll be provide screening for things like solar panels, any split air conditioner or evaporator units that go on the top, as well as anything else that they want to conceal and be out of sight. Uh, of course, back here, you're familiar, this is the swimming pool area, and they're on the top. And we'll look at this in just a minute with the, with the drone, and we'll be able to see all the, the steel formwork that's on the top. Now, I also want to take this opportunity to walk back here because we visited the, the storage room in the back and they were putting the tiles down uh, a couple of weeks ago. And I just want to show you where they are as far as uh, the finishing of that room. And we, we have the, the painter, the painter that does all the finishing side here, and he's working on this room right now. So they're in the final stages of putting, uh, the, smoothing the walls, applying the paint. They'll put some shoe molding along the bottom inside here. And this is, will almost be ready once they finish doing the painting on the door. Uh, you see they got the hardware is installed now that wasn't installed the last time that we were here. And this will be ready to secure and actually start putting some of their uh, materials. They can stock some materials, some supplies, whatever they maybe have shipped from the U.S. as far as ballot buying boxes, they'll be able to put that back here. It will also be, yeah, I don't think they put it in yet. Now uh, there will also be some some bar work in here, since this is out of sight, out of mind, uh, they'll be putting some type of a metal screening on that. This will be on the inside of the windows right here. Now that's, that's, that's a personal option. When you live in a gated community, a lot of times in gated communities, you won't opt to put any type of bars. But since this is out of the way from the main structure up here, I think they felt to secure items inside here, uh, their possessions, they're gonna go ahead and put a, a steel bar there if they don't have like uh, a way to be able to monitor back here. But I don't think they're doing that anywhere else on the house. Now, when we use the term plaster coat, that's kind of what you see what they're doing right here. They do a thin layer of mortar mix. It's mainly, uh, it's mainly concrete mix, something like a Port Portland uh, cement compound along with some sand. And they'll do a, a, uh, either a smooth or with a little bit of rough texture, which is probably what they're doing for this area right here 
for the exterior of the posts out here. Then inside the house, if they're doing this on the inside and possibly on the outside, they'll put something called skim coat. And it's a coat that actually gives the real, very smooth finish on top of this. And it's not made out of cement. It's not made out of sand. And briefly, let's do the one, two, threes of doing concrete hollow block and finishing. This is concrete hollow block with some mortar mix in between the concrete hollow block that holds everything together. Once they go from there, the next step is they're going to put some mortar mix. They're gonna slap it onto the side and it's gonna be rough. It's gonna look just like this. And the reason it's rough is so that when you put the final coat, what we talked about before, the plastic coat, it has something to grab to and will not slip, crack, or break. Then after you do the, the plastic coat, of course, if you're applying a final finish for paint and you want it very smooth, like inside the house, you would do the skim coat. All right, so let's just wait for the ready mix truck to come here. Once the ready mix truck comes, we'll go ahead and get the drone out and we'll watch the pour. Before it actually starts pouring, we'll look at all of that steel that's inside the, uh, where the slab is going to be for the roof and the ceiling of the house. And then we'll watch the actual pour itself. That's when I get excited when I see all that concrete going down. All right, now the, the ready mix truck is here. They are here. So I'm going to go ahead and grab the drone and let's watch the pour, the big pour, the final big pour of the Canadian neighbor's house for the roof.
I'm not sure I'm happy with this pump going over right over the top of my house. <laughs> I don't think it's dripping any concrete. By the way, let me tell you the problem here. The problem is the last truck, the last ready mix truck, the reverse doesn't work. It's broken. So they can't go the way they're normally doing from the bottom of this hill, going in reverse, coming up here and feeding, feeding the pump. So they tried to take the little extension on the back and the extension to try to get it go sideways into the pump, but it's just not quite long enough. So what they're going to have to do is bring the pump down, take the pump, move it down the road, turn around, back the pump back up, to connect up to the non-reversing ready mix truck right here. Set this back up again and do the last dump of cement mix or the ready mix for the roof. Now, I, it would have made more sense to me to go down to the T in the road, turn around. It just doesn't matter. I don't know. <laughs> out for my fence. <laughs> Jump for my electricity. That's going to be about it for today for the new home build series across the street on our Canadian neighbor's lot. Uh, that was exciting watching all that concrete con go down. And that was a lot of concrete. That was six. Originally it was supposed to be only five. They found out they were a little bit short. And they ended up having to use six trucks. I don't know how much of that last truck was a full truck. Maybe it was only just a partial truckload. Uh, but it, needless to say, it was a pretty exciting day. Uh, so that isn't the end of the excitement. The other excitement comes when they start pulling off all that formwork and you can see the quality of all that concrete that was cast in place. All of that was 100% cast in place today, both the walls and the slab itself. So let's go ahead, 
And when I say walls, I really mean the beams, the beams and the slab. So I think in about the next 48 hours, they'll be pulling off that form and we'll take another look at what that roof looks like. Then we start going into some of the finishing stages because once that's done, you're gonna see a lot of plaster coat being done inside the house. Then the plastic coat and of course the skim coat. Then we start getting into the finishing stages. And the most interesting thing about this, we're really only one, two, three, three months into this build. Three months into the build and you see how much was done. It was like November, a little bit of December and that had only to do with the backyard. Then January and February and we just started March. You see all of this, what you see has been done in about three months period of time, which is why this contractor here said he can get the entire project done in about six months. Incredible, incredible. Well, we're gonna to continue to follow this project and there's a lot of exciting days ahead for the finishing portion of this as well. Now let's go ahead and close from here so I can focus on the other video that I was working on that has to do with the backyard. So if you're into the updates here in the backyard, there are going to be two episodes that are going to be released about the same time. And we also talk what's important about the other episode that's going to be published about the same time as this one is this going to have to do a lot with the questions about building. How much does it cost? Uh, things about immigration. Uh, the standard things, what do I need to do if I am going to build a house in the Philippines, but I am not in the Philippines, I am not physically located, that is going to be in that other episode. So if you're interested in stuff like that, make sure you tune into that episode as well. Well, that's it. I hope you enjoyed today's episode. If you did, please give me a thumbs up, please share, and if you have not subscribed, just click on that little MyPI Dream heart in the bottom right hand side of your screen. You will be subscribed and you'll be notified if you ring that bell next time I upload a new video. So until such time from right here in the beautiful Philippines, you have a wonderful and blessed day. today's episode and you would like to see more just like these just click on one of the helpful links over to your right and you might be able to pick up on some good information on DIY projects how to or if you are interested in moving to the Philippines and building you'll find answers there as well